Now this will serve as our path, but just like in our electrical circuit video, we have to have a positive and a negative side. So um, we're going to mark this negative and this side positive. And so what, what you'll see is when we use our coin cell battery, we want to connect the positive side of the copper tape to the positive side of our coin cell battery, which is actually this, the top here. You can see the plus there. So, and the same thing goes for our LED. We need to connect the negative side to the negative side of our copper tape circuit. So if you look at your LED, you'll notice that the legs on it are two different lengths. So the LED, the shorter leg indicates the negative side. So if I want to connect it, I want to turn it and have the negative side connect to the negative side of our gap. Okay, so we'll go like that. So to make it easier to connect, we're actually going to take the legs of our LED and bend them at a 90 degree angle outward on both sides. Now remember which one is the negative side, which is this side here. But if you happen to forget, if you look on your LED, there's a flat edge on the bulb, which also indicates that that side is negative. So my flat edge is right here on the negative side. And we're just going to lay this on the negative side on the negative side of our circuit and the positive leg on the positive side. Now what I do is I usually take some sort of tape and the scotch tape is fine. I, I have some masking tape here. You just want to make sure that the leg is touching the copper tape. Cop top of the copper tape and tape it down. And so if you look at that, it looks pretty much exactly, it's a physical representation of our electrical circuit. Um, now we need to place our battery in there. So you see this is on the negative side of our circuit. And this is the negative side of our battery. So we're going to place that down on, to, on top of the negative side. And then the reason we made that line is that so we want to bend our card at that line. And so what that does is it creates a switch for us so that we can make contact with the positive side with the battery with the positive side of the circuit. And once we're able to do that, you'll see that our LED Turn off some of these lights here. Our LED now works. And just like that, you've made your first circuit on paper. Switch. So you see as I, as I press it down, I make contact with the battery. It energizes the circuit. You get electricity through the LED and it lights up. So you can actually go ahead and play around with that circuit and see what other things you can do. Maybe you can replace the bulb with something a little bit more interesting. Um, now we haven't gotten into voltage, current, uh, resistance, and those things, um, but that's something that you can take a look at the uh, resources uh, for and, and continue to explore on your own.
you have any questions, be sure to contact me or other students in the discussion forum and and we'll get we'll get you squared away if you have any issues. If not, see you in the next video.